with gold when gold with Goldie passing though, I immediately thought of my my OGs, my dad specifically. Um, and there's this thing that happens, G, where I know you experienced it, Lex. I'm gonna assume this was your uh, this is how you were brought up. There was no such thing as oh, they're too young to watch that. Oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Right. I I want us to acknowledge for a quick second how not normal that was though. I thought everybody was watching the shit. And so I'm coming to school talking to my partners about motherfucking cash money, uh New Jack City like, "Hey man, y'all see? and they're like, "Bro, what are you talking about? You're old." Everything. I'm like, "What? Man, this shit just came out." <laughs> oh, you can't listen. To- I didn't know. They go on to Walmart to get the the censor version CDs nigga. I'm at Sam Goody uh what was before uh, Tower uh, Warehouse Circuit City Circuit City nigga the uh the shit in the store um by the way they still have all those in Livermore What? What? No, you, they're not a Circuit City. Hmm? It's a Circuit City still. Probably not a Circuit City, but they got like if they've got a town like their downtown literally has like nothing but oh shit. Yeah, like That's all, like it's still like suspended in time. That's awesome actually though. But yeah, I'm just going on that. But I mean, so I'm the 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 disconnect between us and some of our peers, in hindsight, makes all the sense in the world. I don't remember the Dave Chappelle special, but it's the second one in the the Netflix releases. Uh, the the small club one where he does the the. Um, Iceberg Slim analogy throughout the whole set. And reading some of the reviews. Sticks when that, and Stones? Was that Sticks? That wasn't Sticks and Stones. I think Iceberg was it Sticks and Stones. Was it? Okay. I don't know, I don't know why I get those two confused. Uh, Sticks and Stones and what's the other one called? Uh, Bird something. I can't never remember the name of any of his. E- equanimity. Equanimity. That one. That's not the one with It might be Equanimity. Okay. So, reading the reviews of that and the the pimp analogy throwing so many people off is back to where we started is in the beginning. It was like, how do motherfuckers that's not from here get to come immerse themselves in it and then dictate what rules fly, what's vulgar, what's overstepping, what's offensive, all the shit. Fam, fuck out of here. I don't want to hear nothing from you. That the pimp, the pimp, pussy been selling forever. Let's just call it what it is. So, the market never plummeted. Never, nigga. iPhones up and down. Uh, your your Bitcoin up and down. Cars, ha! <laughs> the housing market laughable. Pussy, woohoo! Imagine if they did just have, like, you could buy stocks of pussy. In a recession, nigga, doing numbers. Traffic, human trafficking is the big, biggest business in the world. Hey, the, nig- the nigga that y'all claim killed himself got a, got a manifesto with all your favorite people in it, and ain't nobody said a word. So, y'all can stop acting like this shit ain't big business. His girlfriend got 10 years? Yeah. No, it's, it's still going. But it's like still it, going? It, it, Well, they, um, she got, they she, go. actually, she actually got her shit, but... She also has the opportunity now to rat out whoever. Everybody. Oh, guess yeah. guess, guess who Goku mysteriously killed themselves next week? Yeah. So I didn't want to go that dark. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but um, <laughs> that is what's gonna happen though. Cause she go, she just waiting. She. The the nerve the nerve of this shithole of a country, to move the goalposts and dictate who can be celebrated, what we can talk about, and so, the Mac. The Mac and its cultural importance. Again, G came in here talking about, hey, man, I wanted to do better and put some respect on niggas' names for what they may have been accomplishing in their era. Boy, do you know that after we got fucked up (laughs) for New Year's, G, Mm -hmm. I woke up, could barely see, go to make breakfast. Alexa, turn on Curtis Mayfield. Mm. And nigga, 
play some Curtis Mayfield after you got a hangover. Mm. Go. I didn't even hit the didn't hit the weed yet. Just start clean and was on one. Yeah, no. This nigga writing anti-war songs. It, it sound like a love. He nigga what? Ain't brother man ain't got no job when he come home from the war. Mm. What we talking about? <laughs> But it's over the most player minor chords you ever want to hear in your life. And then because he's a sicko, his intro going to sound like a motherfucking Beethoven or some shit. I said, this, these niggas are wild. Mm. <laughs> these niggas are absolutely wild. And you go, I'm considering the time. I'm considering the influence. I'm considering what everybody must have been feeling and experiencing at that time and why it was such a cultural phenomenon. Max Julian, Richard Pryor, Pam Grier, they them motherfuckers jump off the screen mm-hmm. and make black people look like human humanized characters that otherwise would be left left for dead and, and unforgotten, unsung, and never spoken about. And and this is a, a niche story. Pimping in Oakland. The Panthers doing their thing. They got static, all the shit. Hey man, I know what y'all. I know y'all. F- Free food program. I know y'all printing the papers. I know what y'all doing, but hey, it's you ever you drove down E14 in 2022? Guess what's out there? The cop circle. They do. They got their beat. They got their patrol. It's a part of the. It's a part of the, the dark market. That guess what? You don't matter. No matter what your laws say. Guess what? You're not gonna stop. You're not gonna stop dope from moving. You're not gonna stop pussy from selling. And 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 someone saw fit to tell that story, and what was the Mac? Nineteen seventy was seventy four, right? Yeah, I was looking it up. Oh, here you got it. Someone someone had enough vision to tell that story and try to humanize those characters. Hmm. Tarantino's gonna get celebrated for making the most outlandish shit. Um, uh, Stephen King. Nineteen seventy three. Seventy three. All these folks are going to get celebrated and be deemed heroes for, for humanizing some, some sick fucks. And in an attempt to bottle and, and share ex- very, very particular experiences, you get a cultural phenomenon that outlives us all, and then we got to celebrate a real nigga when he, when he, when he, when he goes on home. That's Julian Salute. Goldie, salute. Betty White with your fine ass. Night to ninety. That was my girl, dog. I yeah, st- two weeks before hey. the honey. Hey, hey, Betty. Matter of fact, bro, I had wrote down in that because <laughs> I heard that news on John Madden, and I was oh like, man, and I was like, da- I was like, damn, Betty White, ninety nine, because I you never know what age uh, Betty White is, and then it wasn't. Shit, what was that? Three, three days later, that uh, that Betty White passed. I'm like, fuck. I was just about to give her her kudos for getting to that hun- that hundo. Man, even though I thought she she could have been huh? 120 by now. Coco. Yes, baby. Betty go. Yeah, she gone. <laughs> Pot gone. Biggie gone. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. See. That's why we don't call you on the pocket. Why you always got to take it on one? The whole line. What? Up. She just money. I'm under contract. I can't be on the air. See? Mm. See? See? You got to be you got to be careful. It's everybody clubhouse and mixing networks. Yeah, look here. Oh lord. Hey, hallelujah. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> this this the saved uh segment of the show. Hey man. Thank you, Lord. How you doing? We good. We good. We working. We we uh we ended the show. We about a we about an hour in, reminiscing Where's on. Where's B? Where's B? No B. No B. No B today. No B today. Uh, but oh, we. Oh man, where we, Bug? Right here. All right Bug. here. Right here. What up, Bug? What up? Happy twenty two, T. Happy twenty two. And let B U B. Where you be at? What's happening? <laughs> so. Y'all, look. I got this good old coffee though. I'm sorry. Let me take a sip. No, we just L just L just went on his coffee rant this morning. Uh, what is, yeah, what, uh, no, so, so question, cause we're reminiscing on, Be- on Betty and Max Jillian, um, Betty, what, what, as a kid, what was the first thing you remember seeing Betty in first? Mm, probably, I would say on Match Game or one of the old 
little game show with mm-hmm. Grandma Grandma. Uh-huh. Well, she was a guest on one of those. I remember probably that would be one of my um, my memories, yeah. Right, and so the way so the way that things work now, everything is everything is is oh we don't watch no white show this that I, I hear that all the time from my black friends. However, there was a time when it was only there were, you only could watch what you you could watch, and so right. it wasn't y- y'all didn't really no matter what was going on in the country shit. Betty White was funny, so this what we watching. Yep. How do That's you? It. I, right, right. So, but <laughs> what? Right, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. But wait, I, I what? Cause you, but you, okay. You have white godparents, though, mom. I do, and so I know. But so that's what I'm. I'm trying to. I'm telling Lex and L like we we try to like kind of normalize and and act like our experiences aren't unique. But we come from some unique circumstances where it wasn't air like it, that wasn't all your partner's experience they didn't they didn't all Not rock like all. that yeah so that's what i guess that's what i'm at what i'm attempting because they used to even call us white wash when you know when, especially when we moved to the talbot coming from richmond down down in the bottoms and you know spending summers in kennedy manor on ohio and yeah they my some of my june and all them they would come up to the town and be like y'all so whitewash but our godparents were white in Occidental, going to Bodega Bay. We even go, went to Palm Springs for the summer. So, yeah, I, I, I guess you could, you don't know. <laughs> okay. So then, uh, R.I.P. Goldie, your your daddy is your who your daddy oh, is. Oh, God, not Goldie. <laughs> 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 What are you five? No. Six. I was born in '67. Okay, so, so you're six. Kind of you're you're, you're six. Yeah, you six. You six seven. You seven. Yeah. Right. How yeah. do you do you remember that movie coming out and that being a big deal? Or you don't remember it. Do you don't remember that? Only thing, honestly, because you got to think about it now, because because daddy, daddy was still in the picture, and so we had the thing called a drive-in. Right. And so mm, a drive-in. We would be shielded. Yeah, we go to the drive-in. There was several drive-ins. The one yeah, in Hilltop, one in San Pablo. Uh, they were all over the place, but it was certain like the Mac and certain movies that we'd have to like. They would, uh, and that's when they would sneak you in the, the drive in. They knew that we had they had kids in the back right. covered up under covers. Right. But um, just you could see certain parts of the movie, and then I can remember Daddy saying, "Cover your eyes." Well, Daddy, we can hear. We know. <laughs> 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 but yeah, the Mac. Oh my God! Yeah, that, uh, it's too many. Just leave it. Okay. Yeah, but, no, no but so the Mac, the Mac being based in Oakland, did it, did it, was that a conversation? I mean, you were a kid, so I don't want to be hella yeah, extra and no. ask. But. but you have to keep in mind, though, too, Armani. Um, growing up for my early age, I was I was exposed to a lot of stuff because you you know I had my like my god brother Floyd Jr. All of them were in that life. You know what I mean? Right. So I've been exposed to the to the pimp game for a minute. <laughs> All right, that's that's where I feel like that's the safe place to get out of here. You're gonna incriminate yourself, and then no, I'm, I'm not. then I'm gonna be the nigga I'm that got his mama anymore. his mama <laughs> locked up. <laughs> I, now I'm academics because I got my mama a case. I love we love you. Uh, happy you happy, new happy, happy New, new Year. Happy New Year. Hey, yeah. Bud, watch them slushy socks. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't let that go. For slushy foot. <laughs> love you, ma. Love you too. Love you guys. Yes, yes.